Hoi hoi! Welcome back to Monster Hunter Stories 2! Oh, how much did I wait to see it to say that? We got a Monsty from our teacher, from Kana. And with that one, we should go for our own very first egg. I'm hyped! Hakolo Island. Okay, let's not go for those. Oh, I see a mining, uh, or not mining spot, but destroy spot already. I wonder, can you like go and find Poogies here as well? Right, there's a monster den in South Kamuna Forest. That's where we are headed. Okay. Exploring while riding. Approach your monster and press Y to mount. Press again to dismount. You can also use Y to whistle for your monster when it's not near you. If you whistle while running, you'll jump right on. Ah. Press Y to ride Ranmar. Come on, give it a try. Okay, I thought it would work differently, but... I know, but... <laughs> A golden fragment. Ah, okay, so Velocidrome can again still jump. Oh, funny. Okay, I... No, I pressed something away! Should I fight? Maybe that's what it's about. I should uh, fight. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Were those mushrooms? Oh no! Very. What are these? Perfect. Nice. Yes, I need to gather all. Hey, where are you going? South Camera's Forest is the other way. Okay, okay. I got it. Or something like that. Another paint berry! Oh, that is the blue mushroom, right? Hmm, yep, it is. Okay. I think I should go and fight unique mushrooms. Ah, another blue mushroom. Yeah. So... Let's have a fight! And it's nice, you are basically learning how to... how it's going with the maid. It's an Epinoth. These make great training partners when you're just starting out. Okay, let's see what you and Ranmar can do. Select fight and use the power attack. Uh -huh. So that is like normal. And okay, do I have to use a power? I mean, aren't they like using power? I mean, I don't know if they changed it, but... I want to go speed. We'll get to that later, newbie. For now, select fight and use a power attack. Okay... I get it. See? He does a freaking power attack! I knew it! Just let me do speed! <laughs> For fuck's sake. When you and your opponent are targeting each other directly, you'll enter head to head. For the three attack types, power beats technical, technical beats speed, and speed beats power. And now you know... Black on nearly white why I uh, wanted to go speed. Try to remember that. I do. Yep, this is that. And that. Good, good. Your enemy also used the power attack this time. It's a draw. He 
see the battle line that shows you who the monster is gonna target next. Aptimus tend to favor power attacks, don't you think? I wonder if we can use that knowledge to our advantage. And now my monster is going power attack. Last time it took speed attack and would be an e would have been an easy double up if it works like in the other game. I hate your game. Huh? 50 points? Okay. Or is it for my kinship? You did it! Looks like you're getting the hang of this. If you and your monster both use attacks with a type advantage, you'll perform a double attack. With a double attack, you can deal huge damage and avoid the enemy's attack. It boosts your kinship too. Yeah, and now guess what I wanted to do last time. Like the first, very, very first time. I like how it looks. That's it, you pulled off a double attack. Okay, we are getting points. I don't know for what those points are, but... Um, your first battle was a rousing success. We'll make a rider out of you yet. Oh, Renmar is also getting XP. Are those points for rank? Ah. And we're getting an Aptonaut tail. Can I like raw meat? Another Aptonaut tail and the Monster Bone S. I take it. So with those points, you can actually make out if, what rank you are getting a little bit. Nice one, newbie. Seeing through monsters attack patterns is a sure path to victory. If your HP is running low, use an herb from the item, item section of the camp menu. Item. Select item from the camp menu to view the items you're currently carrying. You can use items to recover your HP or cure abnormal statuses outside of battle. South camera first is up ahead. Use an herb and let's get going. Okay, okay, okay. Items. Okay, I have I have a few. Dump. Oh. Phew, we made it. Let's head to the monster den and grab ourselves a neck. Wow, there are monsters in the way. We are gotta fight them off. Uh, we've gotta fight them off. Uh, if you say so. It's alright with me, I'd say. Also? Okay, so I kinda have to fight them, but I wonder where the monster den is they were talking about. Dead bird! Mm, no climbing skill yet. Can I not use the jump here? Okay. I guess not. Let's go against them. Also, why does she have a have a um, poison weapon? Let's take on some lossy prey next. Oh, I always said. Ah, oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah. I I'm stupid. I haven't said anything. Um, they are light on their feet and way more aggressive. I'll let you handle this battle too. This is your chance to show me what you've got. Let's win that head to head. Way to go, you read them like a book. Got knocked on my feet. Looks like you've taken some damage. Time to heal up. Select the items and use an herb on yourself. Do I have to? Don't get cocky, you need to deal with that damage. Select items and use herb. Okay. It's tutorial after all. 
Oh, it shows you even how much you heal beforehand. That is nice. Okay, let's go technical yet again. This game looks so much better than the first one. I wish my monster would do another uh, also technical, but I guess that's uh, ask for too much. Things are really heating up. How about using some of your kinship gauge, the gauge of uh, charge, to unleash a skill? Skill. Select skills from the menu during battle to use your skills at the cost of kinship charge. Without sufficient charge, you will be unable to use your skills. Skills also have three attack types that may trigger a head to head. Once these will automatically select an item, uh, an action at the start of each turn. However, by selecting Monty from the battle menu, you can order your Monty to use the skill as long as you have sufficient kinship charge. Skills fall into power, speed, or technical types, just like attacks. Select skills and try using charge, tackle, T. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm. I was on on right. I am stupid. Charge, tackle, T. Ah, T for technical. Okay, but interesting. I think this wasn't like that in the first game. It really is um, nice. So you basically can make each skill, each thing, like technical speed power. That would be awesome. Nice one. That policy prey didn't know what it what hit it. Hey, you're starting to shave up. Level up. A rank again. I want the bond as well as a prey scale. And yeah, I saw you can take all, but I have not found yet to see what I got, so I want to take them all one by one. We are almost at the end now. Let's keep moving. Wait. We are almost at the end. Uh, no map mode. I don't even know where I have to go. Can I do this now? Ah, okay, nice. Looks like we'll have to cross this river. It uh, times like this when your monsty really comes in handy. There are actions just as a jump, ivy climb, or fly that you can only use when riding. The available actions depend on the monster. If there is a location you cannot reach, look for a new monster as they might have the right skill to get you there. When riding a monster that can jump, press B on the stone platform to jump to a normally out of reach area. Ride up to the stone platform on Ranmar and press B to jump. I know what I'm doing. Perfect, Velocity Drome are great at jumping and we riders are great at putting Monty skills to good use. I want to loot stuff. Oh look, what's growing here? You can pick herbs from spots like this and save on buying them. Gathering basics. You can gather various items when you approach plants, nests, etc. by pressing A when the icon appears. What you can collect depends on the area. Ooh, bones. Also nice that you're like collecting them while just pressing A and doing stuff. So you're not like slowing down again. On the other side as well something? Not really. Let's see. Mate, 
何かがいる私から離れないようについてきてオキドキああえい、ユノツルヤクヨユノツリマヤキトライトヨステイルンダロドンスティールマイエッグもしかし。Okay, so it's not like it's helping me a lot, but let's do that. Holy, that was quite some damage. Okay, there you. <clears throat> <clears throat> If you change your pattern now. I mean, it certainly looks cool. It really does. Is she not attacking anyone? I wonder. Oh, <clears throat> he's doing bad. Wonder if it's gonna use that rock to block all your attacks. Guess we gotta do something about the rock first then.
do I have a flash bomb? In that case, that weapon you are using now, now is not gonna do a lot of good. Time for a blunt weapon. Here, take this hammer. Received iron hammer. Okay, so I guess I'll switch weapon. We can switch to different weapon even in the middle of battle. Select skills, then hit fit weapons. Lol. Yaha, a blunt attack. I think this is gonna work. Interesting. Keep on smashing and bashing, newbie. <laughs> physiology and attack type efficiency. The physiolo uh, physiology of large monsters may differ, which affect how effective slash blunt or pierce weapons are against them. Okay, so that was uh, is the other sign I. or signs I see when I um, go on attack. Uh, an enemy. Switching weapons. You can equip three different weapons to switch between in battle. Toggle weapons. You ah, that's why I can choose the three weapons. Okay, okay, okay. I, uh, I understand now. Uh, completely drain the monster's part gauge to break it. You can receive dropped items for breaking parts at the end of the battle. Breaking parts may knock down a monster or prevent it from using certain skills. Perfect. And yeah, sharp weapons have a cross sign, and blunt weapons are apparently good. You know, try taking a body part with different weapons, then you find an effective weapon, use it to break that part. Ah. I see, it does make sense. Holy, what is that? Hey, I want to ride on as well. Well, I guess I go and destroy that rock instead. Broken, dropped item. Nice, nice hit, buddy. You broke it. Oh, we are buddies now already. I see. All attacks on a downed opponent will be critical hits. They're more likely to drop items too. Your kinship gauge is maxed out. Now's your chance to ride on. Riding makes your bond stronger, but be careful, you'll get knocked off if you lose too much in head to head. Riding in battle, you can ride your monster once your kinship gauge has filled up. Riding recovers the monster's health by an amount equal to its rider's health and fully restores HP for the rider. It also boosts attack and defense. Items are usable when riding as well. Powerful kinship skills can only be used when riding. Winning a head-to-head -head while rising your kinship level, making kinship skills even stronger. You will automatically dismount after using a kinship skill. If your HP drops to zero or if you lose a head-to-head -head twice, you will be knocked off your monster, but you won't lose any hearts. Using a kinship skill simultaneously with a battle buddy results in a powerful double kinship skill that hits all opponents. Ooh, that is nice to know. Okay, time to show this monster the power of teamwork. Okay, so we are just doing it now. I see. Not only are we seeing kinship, but a double kinship. Cool stuff. Are you hitting him even? <laughs> Ah, oh, okay, good. And there we go, defeated! That was positively Claudacious, buddy!
You're not getting a lot of things. Kuru Yakubi. I try to like move over to scroll through the items acquired, but I just can't. Okay, I guess these are all hide. Okay. I really wish I could do that. でも<笑> <laughs> My face is that from the Velocidrome. <laughs> Speaking of donuts. <laughs><笑> Our egg looks kind of huge. Oh, please! Can I get rid of Navaru? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> home sweet home. Come on, let's go hatch your egg. You'll meet me at the grounds above the stable. <laughs> Rider cards has been added. Wait, what? Rider card. Rider cards are profile cards you can share with other players. They allow you to share information about your party and game progress. The greeting selection also lets you write a little about yourself. You can share Rider cards on the multiplayer results screen. Go to options to enable automatic Rider card exchange or select players to share your card with manually. Okay, I was confused. My Rider card, I'm already level 2. I'm so good. I'm pressing Ah, okay, the other R The round R Total playtime, co-op quest completed All battles, monster slain It's nice I don't think you had like This much Of an inside in the other Oh, metal I see I'm not surprised in that regard. Okay. I think I have to go this way then. Let's go. I want to see my first monster. Excellent. Oh, he has a donut. Ah, so that's all. Oh, 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 I don't really know about that pattern, but maybe we're getting something cool out of it. It would be nice. Huh? Wait, what's happening? It looks like he can extend it, like pull out. Ha ha ha! I knew it. But why is he doing that? Ah, okay. Okay. I do hope we uh, don't have to do that with every egg I want to hatch. Oh. 
絆石を掲げて絆石の力でおともんを目覚めさせるの Who would keep he? Ooh, it's shiny. It's the Kulu Yaku. I was like, I'm not recognizing the pattern, but I think it could be like a bird wyvern, but I was too scared to say that in case I was wrong. But I should have said that. Fuck! <laughs> oh, I got the cooler Yaku. Uh, right of channeling special genes. Or some uh, free bingo genes. Someone sees May Hatch with a rainbow colored gene. This is the free bingo gene, which can be used with any color or pattern when trying to uh, trying for a bingo bonus. Someone see May have only one free bingo gene at a time. Nice. I like that. Oh, but the bingo gene would have been nice to have on a different side. And we have to give it a name, I'd say. Uh, sometimes reduce the amount of damage taken, very low chance of activation. Actually decreases increases the user's defense. Default duration three turns. Uh, three turns, okay. So let's edit the name. How do I want to name it? Huh. I'm not good with names. So bear with me here. LOL Dead by daylight? No? How about no? <laughs> Won't be too long anyway I feel he has some Dodo vibes So Let's go with that I mean it's only our first monsty so I think it's fine We're exchanging it at some point anyway Huh? Of course, I'm a natural talent. Can you stop touching my face? <laughs> ランマルも見る目があるみたいだな。あんたはちょっとガサツそうだから。ケイケンプリーズ。<笑><笑> Don't worry, I will. Ranmaru mo kono koto issho ni seichou suru no. Ii wa ne. Oh, the little Kuro Yaku. Yokatta na, Raida Marete. Thank you. Finally, someone is slapping him around. Maybe I'm gonna gonna keep that Velocidrome. <laughs> Already VIP. Sate to. Ranmaru mo otomo ni natta koto da shi. Right. You've got Ranmara the monster now too. So what should I have you do next? ちょうどよい。ライダーの関門台にすぐできたそうだ。そこの調査に当たってもらおう。Ah, what good timing. There's a new monster then on Rider Overlook. You'll investigate for me, won't you? あの高台ですか。懐かしいな。Rider Overlook, huh? That sure takes me back. Ah, 
Going there's a rite of passage for new riders. You can't prohibit me go there all by myself. I still hadn't gotten the hang of handling Ranmar. Holy, he's old, huh? It was a real thrill, right? I can tell you that. All riders have to strike out on their own someday. This is your chance to test yourself. No need to worry now. Don't you, don't you think, Keina? Chief Gara is right. You may still be a rookie, but I trust you to take this on alone. Oh. I want to pass. Okay. Oh, and you're gonna need Ranmar to get up there. That little beastie just loves to climb up high. I'll help too. Just say the word, buddy. Uh, uh, can you? Can can I put you in a bag and just let you out if I want to, like, uh, identify an egg? Okay, before you go, it's time for another lesson. Oh no! The next essential for being a rider is combining. You can make lots of items to help on the field of or during battle. Just select combine from the camp menu and mix several items together to create something new. Mm. Here, take this combo recipe and try making a potion. It shouldn't be too hard to find the ingredients. You're going to need to know about the quest board too, so meet me there when you're ready for the next lesson. Indeed, I need to get money. Looking over the overlook, uh, after getting a monster of your own, you head into the forest as a fresh-faced rider where you meet Navaru, a legendary feline hero who once saved the world, or so he claims. Becoming partners, you two head out to investigate rider overlook together. Stable. Visit the stables to manage your monsters and eggs. You can hatch eggs or, egg or change party members here. A yellow speech bubble will appear on over the stable paw when you have an egg. Hatch eggs you have found to get new monsters, you will be able to name them after hatching. If you want to change the name later, you can do so from the Manage Monsties menu. Select monsters to add to your party and take along on adventures. Monsties in your party get experience points when you complete quests or win battles. Good, good. Um, the quest board is over there. True, but... Let's go to the combine mode. Can I like... Oh, you can choose quantity as well. Okay. Uh, but... I don't know if it will trigger anything. Just... Uh, I will ignore you quickly. And quite a bit has happened, so I do want to save. Uh oh, low battery on my. Oh, we have an auto save as well. That is, that is nice. Override, please. Very, very lovely. Okay, Kudu is already in our party. That saves me the trouble of going to the table to check. Very, very nice. Okay, this is it for this episode though, and we will continue in the next one. Long episodes here, oof. But either way, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I certainly am a little bit uh, sad that we are not getting a different uh, feline partner, but maybe he's not that annoying as in the first game. We'll see. Anyway. I hope to see you in the next episode.
So until then, have a good one and bye bye.